Hi guys, it's Mark Abuzi here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are doing the song She Used To Be Mine performed by Alison Luff from the musical Waitress. I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys, right? I don't like musicals. I like two musicals, actually. I like La La Land, because Ryan Gosling is my boy. And I like Dancer in the Dark, which, if you haven't seen it, don't. It's... It's a miserable watch. If it wasn't for the fact that I've got a reaction channel, then I would not listen to this. I'm dreading it, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dreading it. It's not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me that these shoes and this apron that place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them it's not easy to know I'm not anything like I used to be Although it's true, I was never attention sweet center I still remember that girl She's imperfect, but she tries She is good, but she lies she is hard on herself She is broken and won't ask for help She is messy, but she's kind She is lonely most of the time She is... Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. That's incredible. She's got that musical theater thing where she's like over enunciating her words, which I'm not a huge fan of. I can 100% look past it in this case because boy, she's fucking beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful. I I think it works better for me because it's quite a stripped back performance. It accentuates what she's doing in terms of it, like accent in the words that's musical theatre isn't it so it's really difficult for me to sit there and kind of penalise her for that her voice is absolutely astoundingly good though she is lonely most of the time she is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie she is gone but she used to be Sometimes life it just slips in through a back door and carves out a person and makes you believe it's all true. And now I've got you, and you're not what I asked for. If I'm honest, I know I would give it all. That was a nice chord change. It added that kind of darkness to the melody that was... Mm. What I'm really liking about this is... So I've made this argument in previous videos. So for example, Dimash's videos and Diana and Kudinova's videos. They're also very kind of theatrical with their singing style. I always feel like it's a bit kind of forced and I prefer genuine emotion over acted emotion in songs which you know like it's, it's a personal preference as with as i know 
some people love this. The thing that's making this very good is that she is actually towing the line between doing the theatrical side of it and she's smashing that, but also lacing it full of fucking emotion. Like, it doesn't feel forced to me. It feels like she's actually singing from the heart, but adding a little bit of kind of drama into the vocals to kind of accent what it is that she's trying to get across, which is exactly how it should be with, with stuff like this. I think a lot of the time, my problem is possibly that the singers are focusing on the technical aspects of this piece rather than the emotional aspects of the piece and she's managing to do both which is putting it on a different level altogether from for example SOS by Dimash which on a technical level absolutely marvellous but I watched it and I felt fucking nothing No, 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 right, okay. See, this is what I'm talking about, right? Now that she's getting it proper fucking welly, she's losing the theatricality because she's getting lost in the emotions of the song and it's amazing. See the way that she ends that scared? And who cares? in the face with a wee tiny spoon that was mm. you'll never convince me to watch waitress it's just not a thing that's gonna fucking happen right but that song was legitimately lovely it's fairly universal i think the theme of looking back at yourself and being disappointed with who you've turned it to be compared to who you were hoping you would be when you were younger because you've compromised in areas, you've made mistakes and you're you're harder on yourself because you know your mental thoughts and it's not really, people don't judge you by what's going through your head, they judge you by what you're doing in your day to day life but that's not, but you know what you were thinking and you can be disappointed in yourself because you don't feel like you're as good a person or as worthy a person as what you maybe wanted to be when you were younger. That was a 
beautiful vocal performance. See the bit at the end when she went a cappella and was just... <laughs> I was wild. Right. Aye, okay. Listen, I said at the start of this I was dreading it, right? <laughs> and I was. I have been proven wrong. I have been proven wrong. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. But the important thing is, how emo was it? Twinkly guitars. Not that twinkly, right? Because there was not a single guitar in there. The piano was twinkly. So, we'll, we'll put it a bit there for twinkly. In terms of the singing, it's right up there. In fact, we're going to put him there. That's where the wee man goes. He's up there. But let me know in the comments below, guys. What's what's your favourite musical? Have you seen Dancer in the Dark? It's miserable. You should watch it. It's amazing. I've been Mark Abusi, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.